Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to Counselor University. Okay. Um, today we are going to be looking at um, okay. By way of introduction, all of you know me, but I'm Mr. Ifani, and I I help to transmit information from Counselor University to our students and clients. Now, our objective majorly at Counselor University is to help people who come to us at least get better at what they do. And that is why most times we don't just do trainings. After our training, like this particular program now, after the training, we follow you guys via WhatsApp for at least two weeks. That is why we told your management that your certificate comes two weeks after the training. So you'll be doing the online one, whereby we'll also be sending you other videos and we'll be interacting with you. The whole essence of the, of the program is how can you get better at what you are doing? Not just for your stay in your place of work, because we came from different organizations. Um, we are about five to six organizations who are here. And I believe that each and every one of us, even while we are working, we want at the end of the day to, one, grow in our place of work. And secondly, even whenever we are leaving, let our organization know that somebody is leaving. We don't want a situation whereby if we decide to leave our work, the only thing that will change is that HR will say, this name is long, no longer there. Uh, write a letter to account. Stop paying this person's salary. We want any day that anybody is leaving the organization, at least the MD will call the person and say, what is the problem? There's one of our former students, when he was about to leave his place of work, the MD had actually had to call him and say, is it the salary? We are ready to increase your salary. So tell us what the problem is. So that is our objective here. That wherever you are working, any day you say, um, I think it's time for me to move to the next level in life, your organization will call you and say, what do we need to do to retain you? So today, we'll be looking at majorly what I've titled Mastering the Act of Solving Business Problem. Now for most of you, I work with your MDs. Now, there's something that is unique amongst all the MDs. And one thing is that they are saying, how can I get the load of solving most of the problems in this organization by myself? How can I get my people involved? So that if there's some problem, I don't need to be consulted. I'll know that this issue will be sorted out. Is there a system whereby if I put in place in my organization, my, my people can actually, on their own, generate ideas without always resorting to me. And they can think the way I think. So that is what this course is actually all about. It's about showing us ways we can actually solve problems in our offices. Solve it better, solve it faster, and provide, produce the optimum result in whatever we are doing. That is why one of the things we are going to be doing is actually showing you how to rethink how to solve most of the problems you are facing. Now, in the course of actually this, of this program, um, if you need crayons, because there will be a stage where you might actually need something to write with, or you need cardboard or any other work material, just let me know. So we'll be conducting some exercises. So the first thing we want to do is, um, let's do a little exercise. So we cannot, we all see these nine dots. Now, I want you to draw the nine dots on your paper. Are we done? Now, what I want you now to do is connect the whole nine dots without lifting your pen with more, more than three straight lines. Connect all the nine dots without, it has to be a continuous, so you connect all of them without lifting your pen. Sorry? Without lifting your pen. Without more than three lines. Connect all of them without lifting your pen and without more than three lines. Yeah. Because like I told you, what we are trying to achieve is to actually change the way you see most problems in your organization. 
without lifting your writing material, connect the three of them in not without three more than three lines. It's actually possible to connect the three of them without lifting your pen without more than three lines. Who has achieved it? Okay. Um good Lord, let's let's do with your own bring your own this thing here. Just stand up. Now, what did I tell you guys when we were starting? I said that any material that you need to work is actually here, right? Now, let me do an ex exercise for you. Bula, bring your own. Let's, let's do something. Did I say you cannot use crayon? Did I tell you the size of the line? How thick the line should be? What I just said, straight line. Not more than three. Can you write with a crayon? Can you draw a straight line with a crayon? How many lines did I use? All you needed to do was, if you change the way you thought about the problem, you could actually tell yourself, beyond pen, is there any other thing I can use to draw a straight line? Because there are problems we are facing in our, okay, thank you, in our various organizations. And we've actually set, because I think the major challenge that we have in, in our, the way we address problem is, because you have told, draw a line, a straight line you know the way a straight line is supposed to be but if you now say okay is there any way i can actually draw a straight line then you are actually thinking outside the box outside the conventional way it means that assuming that you, you are asked to okay send a a mail to this person the normal conventional way of sending the mail might be do an email or send it by the but assuming the person is in the other office and it's something that the person needs to get immediately a man can actually be done with a pen and actually go, you take it over to the person's office. And that issue of waiting to type, because if time is very important, the time it will take you to type, you would have used to draft something on a paper. Rush over to the person's office, he or she acknowledges it, and the process will actually continue. But if you are saying this is the way it's normally done, this is the way it has always been done, it means that the bureaucratic system is still in place and your boss is there once they reply immediately let me give an instance let's say okay most of us now we deal with um navdak those of you from Janet. so let's say there are mails that you need the md of dg of navdak to sign let's say the approval that have been waiting now for some reason the dg of navdak is passing by i say okay let me check on Janet. And he comes in. I say, oh, how are you? I just say, let me see. And you have to say, sir, there are some mails that you actually need to approve for us. He said, ah, can I see them now so that I can actually sign? Within that period, because he said, okay, I need to rush to the office. Within that period, which is the fastest thing to do? To draft it on a piece or on a, on a sheet of paper so that he can actually mean it on it. Or to start to type the mail. Which one will be faster? Jenny people. Oh yeah, good luck. Let me start with you. Okay, Chick, I've asked good luck. <laughs> Chick, which one will be fastest to get him to sign immediately? Typing it out or just writing it on a piece of paper for him to sign off? That is the point I'm trying to get at. That we should actually, when we see a problem, we'll say, yes, this is a normal problem. But is there any way we can actually rethink the way we are solving this problem? That is what we are trying to achieve today. Now, when we see a problem, we don't actually say, this is the way it has always been done. And for us to actually progress, for our employers to actually see us as valuable people, is for us to start to think outside the box. So, we'll now go to 
what is the benefit of mastering 